In the dark and eerie world of analog horror, there existed a man known only as, the man. He was also referred to as, Gojira, or, Goji, but his true identity remained a mystery. The man was the suit actor for the iconic monster, Gojira, and his story was one of tragedy and madness. Born in Japan, the man had experienced unimaginable loss during the Hiroshima and Nagasaki bombings. The devastation and destruction caused by these events fueled his heart with revenge and hatred towards America. Consumed by his desire for vengeance, the man became obsessed with the Gojira Kaiju, the embodiment of destruction and chaos. As the suit actor for Gojira, the man's connection with the monster grew stronger with each performance. He never took off the suit, even in the comfort of his own home. He insisted on being called, Goji, a shortened version of Gojira, and his obsession with the character became all-consuming. But something sinister happened when the man merged his body with the Gojira suit. He transformed into a powerful supernatural force, spreading his influence to the other suit actors. The man's appearance mirrored that of Gojira, with bloodshot eyes hidden behind contacts. Inside the suit, his body grotesquely expanded, filling every inch of the monster's form. No one had ever seen the man's true human form, not even those who worked closely with him. He remained a mysterious and enigmatic figure, shrouded in darkness and madness. When Gojira was finally removed from the suit, the man underwent a grotesque transformation. His body resembled that of Godzilla, but with a fleshy texture, as if the rubber material of the suit had genetically fused with his flesh. He stood at a towering height of 10 feet, a monstrous creature born from his obsession. In one particular incident, captured on video and known as, the Missouri Incident, the man was covered in a shiny paste and given eye contacts to hide his bloodshot eyes. This resulted in his appearance in the film, Mothra vs. Godzilla. The man's strange and mysterious nature only deepened as he continued his work on the Godzilla movies. As time went on, the man's obsession with Gojira grew more intense. He became a feral kaiju, unable to speak but still able to cooperate and act. However, in the presence of other suit actors, his demeanor changed drastically. He transformed into a deranged beast, attacking them with a ferocity that mirrored the pain he had endured. His hatred for Americans, stemming from the bombings, led him to kill a fellow Japanese suit actor who portrayed an American kaiju. In his twisted mind, the man believed his actions were justified. He saw himself as a deliverer of peace, seeking retribution for the wrongs he had suffered. His delusions had led him to develop a hero complex, unaware that the world had moved on from the horrors of the nuclear bomb attacks. The pain and suffering he inflicted upon others meant nothing to him, as his true goal was far greater. The man in the Gojira suit saw himself as a god, embracing his fate and relishing in the power he possessed. He cared not for the consequences of his actions, for he believed he was on a divine mission. As the analog horror series unfolded, the man's reign of terror continued. His presence brought fear and chaos, leaving a trail of destruction in his wake. The world trembled at the sight of Gojira, not knowing that the true monster lay within the suit, a man consumed by madness and vengeance. In the realm of analog horror, where reality and fiction intertwine, the man in the Gojira suit stood as a symbol of darkness and despair. His story, a chilling tale of obsession and revenge, would forever haunt the minds of those who dared to witness his terrifying presence.